Hi, this is the second video in the playlist on dealing with inequalities on graphs. And we've been given a, a piece of graph paper here. We've been asked to plot these inequalities and the region that's bounded by it. So the first thing is we've got x is greater than or equal to minus 1. Well, we need to just establish where x equals minus 1 before. If I look at the first video, you'll see all I do really is I just plot a couple of points, minus 1, 3, or minus 1, 8. It doesn't really matter because all of these points is where x equals minus 1. So if I just now plot those on the graph, I've got minus 1 and 3 is about here and minus 1, 8 is about here. So I'm just going to turn my back to the camera and just draw that line just to make sure that I've got it as accurately as I can. Now I'm also going to make it a solid line because uh, what we're saying is the inequality is equal to or greater than minus 1. And the common convention is when it's a, a, a equal to, you draw it as a solid line. It's also easier if you mark in the arrows that the inequality is going to satisfy. In other words, because it's greater than, it's going to be on the right-hand side of minus 1. OK, this one here, we've got y is greater than 5. OK, well, the line where y equals 5, we could do the same exercise. We could do 1, uh, 5, and we could do uh, 4, 5. doesn't really matter, because at those points, y equals 5. So we can plot those points. 1, 5 is here and 4, 5 is here. OK, now I'm going to draw this as a dashed line because it doesn't include the number 5. OK, and again, I'm going to turn my back to the camera. OK, hopefully you'll be able to see this OK. Uh, so I'm just going to draw along here like that. And this is where y equals 5, but the inequality is greater than, so it's going to be above this line here. OK, so what it's really getting to now is that the inequality region is going to be somewhere in here. It's going to be bounded by this line and by this line. This is the bit that throws people a little bit, but it should be fairly straightforward uh, if you've plotted linear equations onto graphs before. In that, what we do is we say, well, I'm just going to choose a couple of values of x and get their equivalent value of y. Well, it's just easy for me to choose 0, 3 and 5 because I know then that when x equals 0, y equals 3. So that's my first one. When x equals 3, y equals 3 plus 3 is 6. And when x equals 5, y equals 8. OK, so they're fairly straightforward points for me to be able to plot. I'm just going to plot those onto the graph. So I've got x is 0, y is 3, 0, 3 is here. OK, then I've got 3 and 6 is all about there. OK, and 5, 8 is something about like that. OK, so I'm just going to join those together. I'm going to use a solid line again because it's equal to. So if I draw that, it's going to be something like that. And that line means that it's y is greater. So it's going to be on the left hand side. So it's this bit here. Uh, OK, so what we're talking about is the inequality that solves or that's bounded by these lines is going to be this in here. So it's actually going to stop here. OK, you've got to be very careful how you draw these things. And I do appreciate that on the video it's a little bit harder to see, but hopefully that will give you some idea. Uh, please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you and have a look at the videos inside the rest of the playlist. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.